sort of hunting with Debbie and Scooby Dude. Let's get back to the necklaces. You want to see what I have to show you today? Some of my best pieces. Let's start off with this gorgeous pearl piece. I think this was um, one of the only ones until the new pearl necklace came out for me. This is a beautiful piece. It's got marcasites, it's got pearls, it's got diamonds in it, and it's got 14 karat gold surrounding by it. And it is a gorgeous piece. I found this on a hunt this year, and I'm so thrilled that we found this. It was almost at Christmas time, I believe, and this was basically my Christmas present because it was a little expensive, but so worthwhile. Absolutely gorgeous piece. I love, love, love it. Stunning. Very, very, uh, one of my top 10 pieces. Okay, let's just randomly pick. Um, okay, this one love the feather pendant i also have this in rose that um i am i have the earrings to match with this i have it in silver and rose gold and i think this looks so special on especially in the summer it just gleams it's a really really a beautiful beautiful piece Highly recommend everybody trying to find that one. All right, okay. The most talked about one, I guess. I would say it's the most talked about one and I love this piece. Absolutely love, love, love this guy. The Dragonfly Pendant. <sighs> this I have on a beautiful ball chain necklace which is a um, essence ball chain the longest one they have i think it sets it off really really nice especially if you let um, the patina get close to this one i have had it on other chains but i seem to prefer it on this one the most I had it on the rice chain for quite a long time. And then I also had it on a chain that came with another um, older locket. But anyways, back to this. This is a beauty. I found this baby, or my husband and I found this at um, Outlet Niagara, Pandora Outlet. And we did some shopping. I bought a charm or two, and then I walked around to the back wall, and this baby was hanging there. And I wanted him so bad. And my husband said, it's a bug. <laughs> Why do you want a bug? <laughs> well, it's the most awesome bug there is in Pandora, I would have to say. And it's so very, very hard to get. It was really funny, and of course, he bought it for me, even though it was, I very much went past my limit that day before I bought this. And he was still, from the price that he goes for now, I think he was like $75. And he was, of course, on sale. And after I find out, it, it was, I think he was the last one they had. And it was random just that he was in there. I know this was at least six or seven years ago, I think. I'd have to look at my receipts because he was pretty much, I think, the first Pandora necklace I had. That's that's crazy luck. I understand that. But, um, yeah, that's my dragonfly necklace. So I do have a... Um, a hunt video where we find one of these, but it was actually Terry, my bud in the advent calendars that, well, I call her my sister half the time because she kind of is in a way. She was my sister-in-law back, way back when. Anyways, she's, um, she loves dragonflies and she found one and I went with her to get it. 
and I just happened to be lucky to uh, find a beautiful um, pair of earrings that matched um, a necklace that I have, which reminds me, my necklace to that isn't there. I'm missing two necklaces from this collection that I've, I'm showing, and I can't find them anywhere. And I have a feeling they've fallen behind my desk. So I know I haven't taken either of them out of the house, so I know they're in here somewhere. Anyways, dragonfly pendant, I love it. I know I'm never going to sell it. And um, yeah, so on uh, Essence Chain, All Chain, which is amazing. It's got a knot in it right now because I was trying to keep it in the necklace stand that I keep it in. But yes, love this guy. All right, three amazing ones. Let's get to um, this one. This is just a XL bead that's on a chain and I have a clip here. So these XL charms, I absolutely love. I'm gonna have to find the two other charms that I have. I've got two beautiful pink ones, which are stuffed away in a drawer here that I will show you probably at the end of the video. One's, um, one's a very large jumbo pink and one's this size. So I love this jumbo charm. I got that this year and it's on a chain that um, the girl had made and it will just slide off the top but I've got a clip here to hold it on. All right, let's get into my other pearl one. That this is a super, super old one. And I love this and I love this pearl because it looks so much like my fantasy necklace pearl from Troll Beads. It's gorgeous, it's very, very old. And it's got beautiful stones in this. It is a charm and it's a pendant all in one. And I absolutely love this. It's very chunky. All right. I should have done this locket with the other one. This has a beautiful stone in the front. There's an amazing story behind this. It's... Um, in my collection of hunts, it's all down in the catalog. Beautiful stones. It, this came with um, stud earrings. I found the charm this year and I would love, love to find the, the ring. That's the piece that I'd really love to find. I love the way this opens up. You can't really put anything in this locket because it does open on itself, but it's a fabulous piece. And it's on a very, very old chain that I also have knotted so it stays nice, but it's the very, very cool twist chain and it's the old tag for Pandora gorgeous chain. I've put this one on the dragonfly pendant before. Oops, and it's getting away from me. It's very, very weighty. It's very beautiful though. Love this. I do wear one of my rings with it that's got the same stone, but I love that. Okay, heart pendants. We might as well talk about this one. This one is super old but guess what this was sitting at the outlet niagara and i'm probably going to kill my nails trying to get into this baby and still have a problem getting into it uh, i went in and they had a sale on 
And the girl that is so sweet to me all the time said, guess what? We got an awesome piece in. I can't believe we got it in. Do you want to see it? And I said, yeah. This was like $45. I was blown away. Stunning, super old piece. I tried to get it like five or six times pre-loved. It was a crazy, crazy price. Well, you know what? Now that I see this piece, I thought it was a crazy price because i never seen it before. But um, with this CZ heart in the middle, that's a dangle. And this gorgeous, it's heavy. It's gorgeous. The price they were asking wasn't bad at all. But um, the price at the outlet was amazing. It was the only one they got in. This was, I think, last year. Last year or the year before. So you never know what Outlet Niagara is going to have. Go in. Check them out. Love this one. It's gorgeous. And you know what? It's so close to the same heart as this. Love it. I am a sucker for hearts and for lockets. So that one I absolutely loved. Okay, let's get back to the rest. We got to get through all of this today because we're getting to Christmas. All right, another one that I got with the gorgeous Marcusite pearls is this beautiful family tree charm. Well, pendant, it's gorgeous. Absolutely love this. It's um, got two little teeny tiny hearts on it. One pink, one red, and I think this is my two girlies on here. So I love this just as much as this beautiful marcasite <clears throat> and pearl find. Absolutely a fabulous hunt. So cool. So that was a great find. Love that one. And that's on a box chain. Um, is this a Pandora box chain? It's maybe, yeah, it is. Love that. All right, next is the gorgeous rose pendant and chain. Be careful, don't wear this in the summertime and stay in one spot because I wore this and I had a rose on my chest. It's pretty cool, but it looks kind of um, off when you take the pendant away, unless you go around with this glued to the exact right spot. Lovely, lovely piece. I have the earrings to match this, and I have the ring. Absolutely stunning. I love this. It's timeless. It's a beautiful piece. Okay, what else? Another locket. This one, I love this. Love you to the moon and back. This is a saying that I used to say to my girls. And to tell you the truth, the first time I seen this was on um, Nicole's channel. And for the exact same reason, she says this to Presley. I used to say this to my girls and that was like uh, 30 plus years ago. So I loved this. I bought it right away. And I found it at um, the Outlet Niagara on a great sale. Gorgeous. Love it. All righty. What else do we have here? Ah, the Locked Love. Dan bought me this whole set for my birthday one year. I loved it. it it came out, it was the very first bracelet that had this lock. So I fell for that hard. I thought it was just fabulous. I thought, wow, that looks like, uh, I'm going to like that just as much as my Tiffany piece. And now I love this even more. 
for the chain because I can take these off and use the other locket chains from the other locket hearts from the other bracelets like loved and the family tree one and um, I've got different um, pendants that go on this really cool chain really nice strong chain it's gorgeous it's a gorgeous piece and it's got a really kind of cool logo kind of like the old-fashioned logo with the hearts and the Pandora written on it love this piece love 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 and of course it matches my um, key locket these came out at the same time I believe so they look so good together so very good this is the large key and this and they look really cool layered and I wear them layered often if I can center this properly you can get an idea of how they look well kind of Anyways, love that set. All right, speaking of locked love, I have the large key and the small key. And I got this idea from genre of my expression. She's got a key necklace like this. And I thought, what an awesome idea. Love it. It's amazing. I was going to put, I've got a rose gold key, the same. I was going to put on it and I just haven't gotten to it yet. I have it actually on a bracelet. So that, I love that idea. And uh, that's her um, design idea. And it's an awesome one. Okay, what else? I have the um, circle of love um, idea in rose gold here. Love this one. It's beautiful. I have one in silver, I believe, somewhere, or I'm not sure. Oh, I've got the earrings in silver. We didn't even do my earring collection. There was just not enough time. But I have this gorgeous one in rose gold. Absolutely love this. I bought it pre-loved. And I don't even think they ever wore it. This is a fairly new find. Absolutely spotless. It's gorgeous. Um, I Very, very old um, string. Um, Lariat with the two pieces. I'm not very good at playing with this yet, but I have put the dragonfly pendant on here and it looked super cool, but I was terribly afraid of losing it, but it did look super cool. All right, two left. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is gorgeous, they're shine. A couple of my only shine pieces, and it's the Pandora heart and the arrow. These two pieces get sold separately. I found both of these at a clothing, um, a pre-loved clothing store. So I love both of these. Um, these I got this year. I think they're in a video. It was another hunting find love 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 them the shine has actually really impressed me it's um i think i'm liking the shine um better than the early um rose it's holding up absolutely spotless actually it's fabulous okay um this one's stuck to uh non-pandora piece okay my o pendant I've only got one. This it, it, this O pendant is also super handy for auntie because if I go and I buy a charm and I have nowhere to put it, it's really fast to pop it on the O pendant. And I probably shouldn't pop this off. This black one is going on my mini and Mickey bracelet. 
but I love the O pendant. The, I have the small size, I believe. Yes. And um, this charm is one of my favorites. I have the ring to match it. And uh, it's stunning. Love the O pendant. I probably should have bought the bigger ones. And maybe one day I will. But um, I think that's gone to almost the end of my collection. I do have two more pieces that aren't here that I can't seem to find. And it's um, Three Wishes with the gray pearls. I've got the ring and the earrings to match that. And um, um, a lace, the beautiful lace um, uh, pen, uh, necklace. I can't find it. I think it dropped down the back of my desk over there. I'm gonna have to get Dan to pull all this out. Okay, this isn't a Pandora piece, but I have to show you because this was an incredible find that we found when hunting. I don't know what it is. Its quality is like Tiffany. Crazy, crazy. Super heavy. It's got gems on each side. And I want some help finding out if any of you ladies that are unbelievably skilled in jewelry do you know this piece? Do you know who made it? There's no trademarks. It literally feels like Tiffany when you feel a silver and it's got the feel of Tiffany. You'll know what I mean. It's remarkable. When I found this at a Value Village, actually, one in Burlington, it um, was black, like black, black, black. And I actually paid quite a bit for it as it goes for things in Value Village. I don't think they knew it was silver. Maybe, maybe not. It was in what looked to be really, really, really rough shape. And it took a long time to get it polished off and beautiful. But if anybody knows what this is, let me know. Because it's gorgeous. I think it's covered in garnets and maybe a ruby. It's fabulous to the point where it's going on right now, even though it's very heavy. But I hear that um, that shape is very healing. Anyways, this is the second part of my necklace collection. I hope you liked it. And thanks for coming Pandora hunting with Debbie and scuba dude and I'm going to do the advent calendar um, and probably put it up separate because it's the last day and we're going to undunk Barbie. All right. Thank you. And um, the draw will be with Barbie and we'll see you back um, in the new, well, maybe between Christmas and New Year's. I've kind of gotten used to this everyday thing. Not sure if it's going to be every day, but it's going to be quite a bit. I appreciate you coming. I've had a blast. And um, let's just keep hunting together and um, sharing information and sharing our finds. And um, jewelry can bring together people. And it's kind of cool when that happens. So. Thanks for coming Pandora hunting with Debbie and Scuba and usually Dan driving. So we'll talk to you soon. Thanks guys. Okay, let's check to see if any of these are left and number 24 is left. So we're gonna grab that and it looks like it's a scarf. So the only thing left is Barbie herself and I'm going to take this out and get it ready and um, well you can watch I guess I think we got to break her out first oh that's so much easier than I thought wow okay I'm going to get rid of this big massive set I know you're supposed to put all those little things in those two flip down things, but I've destroyed them. So 
it's gone. All right. Let me get out. I'm going to stick my charm bracelets there. Let me get out all the goodies that we've gotten from Barbie. And then we're going to break her out. Oh, I wonder if we can use this to fill up with water. Because I think we're supposed to dunk her like crazy. Like we had to dunk her puppy. Uh, you know what? Oops, it is plastic. Look at this. That's pretty cool. Well, that looks like the Joker. What do you think? I think we could probably do that right in that container. Let me get all her stuff out. All her hair, accessories, her clothes, which is quite a bit. Her snowman. And um, I hope my little Addie is doing this because I sent one to my littlest granddaughter because I wanted her to do this alongside of me and I think she's been having a lot of fun too. All right, let's break out Barbie. I think we have to fill this cylinder with water and I can't break her out. I think I need help. Hold on. Okay. I don't think we need warm water, but I think this takes a while. So, we're going to fill her up. I think it's going to be medium water. Let me take her out of here. She looks like a joker. Or what is this movie? I forget what it's called. Where they live in Pandora, which is uh, kind of funny. Oh, you know what? I kind of like her like that. Wow. I like her like that. I don't want to change her. What do you guys think? She's too cool to change. What do you think? Do it. Change her? All right. She's going in. Can you pour, hon? All right. We're soaking Barbie. It might take a while. Ooh, the snowflakes are coming off. How cool is that? Let me move my thumb. Look. I'm going to have to hold her head under. That is so wrong. I may need some more. That is so cool. That is awesome. This has been fun. Maybe you guys can find this set online. Because hopefully they're on sale on Boxing Day. Because Barbie, Barbie, this Barbie set would use up a big chunk of your budget from Pandora. I can't really recommend buying it. And I bought two. So. Hold on. I got my finger. Oh, it's nice and look at it. It looks like there's tons of little feathers everywhere in there. I think this is going to be like bubble bath for later. I can see her like uh, coming through there. Look. How cool is that? I think she's going to be a blonde. Uh-huh. 
Let me shake her around a bit. Is that too funny? Yep. Yep. I, I don't think Dan's impressed. It's kind of cool. It did come with a lot of clothes. Look at all of that. That's pretty interesting. Very, very awesome. By the way, this is going to go to one of my little helpers. So, it's kind of fun. Kind of fun. Let's see what she's got. Oops, thank you, love. Oh, her legs. Do her legs come off? I don't think they come off. That's pretty cool. Thank you. I think I'm going to have bubble bath with that. It's bubble bath. It smells pretty. It's soft anyways. All right. Here's Barbie. I think her silver legs stay. And there's like holes in her head for her hair pieces, which is kind of cool. Let me try and dry her off a bit better. The day has come and Barbie has arrived. Pretty crazy. Let's see if we can stick some hair on her. Well, maybe not. Maybe we should dress her first day. Okay, hold on. I'm going to put you on pause because me and Barbie dolls don't get along very well. It's a struggle getting their clothes on. One second. Okay. I don't think we need warm water, but I think this takes a while. So, we're going to fill her up. I think it's going to be medium water. Let me take her out of here. She looks like the Joker. Or what is this movie? I forget what it's called. Where they live in Pandora, which is... Uh, Kind of funny. Oh, you know what? I kind of like her like that. Wow. I like her like that. I don't want to change her. What do you guys think? She's too cool to change. What do you think? Do it. Change her? All right. She's going in. Can you pour, hon? All right. We're soaking Barbie. It might take a while. Ooh, the snowflakes are coming off. How cool is that? Let me move my thumb. Look. I'm going to have to hold her head under. That is so wrong. I may need some more. That is so cool. That is awesome. This has been fun. Maybe you guys can find this set online. Because hopefully they're on sale on Boxing Day. Because Barbie, Barbie, this Barbie set would use up a big chunk of your budget from Pandora. I can't really recommend buying it. And I bought two. So. Hold on. I got my finger. Oh, it's nice. And look at it. It looks like there's tons of little feathers everywhere in there. I think this is going to be like bubble bath for later. I can see her like uh, coming through there. Look. How cool is that? I think she's going to be a blonde. Uh huh. Let me shake her around a bit. Is that too funny? Yep. I, I don't think Dan's impressed. It's kind of cool. It 
did come with a lot of clothes. Look at all of that. That's pretty interesting. Very, very awesome. By the way, this is going to go to one of my little helpers. So, it's kind of fun. Kind of fun. Let's see what she's got. Oops, thank you, love. Oh, her legs, do her legs come off? I don't think they come off. That's pretty cool. Thank you. I think I'm going to have a bubble bath with that. It's bubble bath. It smells pretty. It's soft anyways. All right. Here's Barbie. I think her silver legs stay. And there's like holes in her head for her hair pieces, which is kind of cool. Let me try and dry her off a bit better. The day has come and Barbie has arrived. Pretty crazy. Let's see if we can stick some hair on her. Well, maybe not. Maybe we should dress her first day. Okay, hold on. I'm going to put you on pause because me and Barbie dolls don't get along very well. It's a struggle getting their clothes on. One second. All right, here's our Barbie with some of her accessories. And we still have some clothes left. And I couldn't get her leggings on. Ah, uh, my hands can't do that very well. But anyways, she's been awesome. She's been fun. And she's sitting against the Pandora. So we're going to get a couple pictures of her. And that has been a blast. So happy Vlogmas, guys. I hope you've had fun. And I think I want to come back and do some more because I've had the best of times and I have so much more to show you. We didn't get through my complete collection. We still have all of my earrings. We have all of my non Pandora moments collection. We have all my essence collection, my me collection and um, too much left. I just didn't get it all done in uh, 24 days. I got a big chunk of it done, but I didn't get um, my other collections done either. So please come back. There's lots more to see. And um, I'm only going to take maybe a couple days off. And I will be back with you. And maybe we'll do something fun for New Year's Eve. If we don't go anywhere and you guys don't go anywhere, maybe we'll do some jewelry jars because Dan bought us a whole bunch of them for Vlogmas and we only did one. So if anybody wants to be um, doing jewelry jars for New Year's Eve, let me know. We might even be able to go live. So come back and we'll have more fun Pandora hunting with Debbie and Skibidoo. And Dan, take care, guys. Bye. Also, a very, very, very happy holidays. Merry Christmas. All of that. I, we wish you the best. We love you all. We'll see you soon.